Hello YouTube, and here today we have a little quick TF update. I did find a ton of stuff, as you can see, lots and lots of stuff. Very happy with my finds, very caught up now. Something about Southern California and getting stuff on time is just terrible. It took me forever to find wave one of the Transformer stuff. A couple, about a week, two, maybe three weeks ago, I found I finally found wave one deluxes and Legends class at my local Target. I was about to give up and go online and get them, but I did find them. It was very frustrating, just because I know Wave 2 is now starting to show up. I, I go on Sabertron and, and uh, uh, TF2005, I don't remember, the, whatever, that site. I go on there and it's like, yeah, Wave 2 spotted, blah, blah, blah. Wave 3 is going to start popping up soon. I'm like, what the heck? I can't even find Wave 1 and people are finding these? Not fair. So I went out to my Target and, and they finally had stuff, so that was nice. All they had was the Deluxes, which is Firefly, Drag Strip, Alpha Bravo, and not Air Raid. It's not. It's not Air Raid. It's um, Skydive. I think it's Skydive. Believe it's Skydive, but I could be wrong. But either way, that's that's all they had. It was basically the first wave of Deluxes, and they had also before that, like maybe a week before or two, I did go, and all they had was Power Glide and Blackjack. So I was like, wow. Like, first of all, I went and they had Legends. I'm like, really? Just Legends? Then I went back and I'm like, they had Deluxe. I'm like, alright, so that's something. But no Voyagers. So I was like, ah. Oh, and they had Armada Megatron. So I got Armada Megatron, Armada Megatron as well. So I was like, come on, man. Like, these Voyagers. That's what I'm looking for. So today, I was like, you know what? I want to go see. Hopefully, I can find a Silver Bolt. And I was also thinking about getting the, the movie Legacy Morpher. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go look for those two things. Hopefully, I can find them. Went out to the first Toys R Us after class. That was farther out. It's it's the farthest Toys R Us from my house, but it's closest one to my school. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go there first. I wasn't exactly sure where it was, so I knew I had an idea. So I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure it's on this street, and I was right. So that was cool. I was glad that I made it there without any trouble. So that was nice. So I go in, and I'm like, all right, maybe I'll find something. And first thing I go to is Ninja Turtles. Nothing, surprisingly. I was really hoping to find some Ninja Turtle stuff, but nothing. And then I go to, well, at least nothing that I wanted. And then I go to uh, Power Rangers. And there's a good amount, you know, keys and all that. I'm not really into the Ranger keys, at least the American ones. I, I have some of the Japanese ones. Maybe I'll continue getting the Japanese ones. But for the time being, that's, like, not my priority. Is yeah, my priority is not the, the Ranger keys or any of that stuff. The American, like, you know, stuff like that. Just the only thing American-wise I like is the Legacy stuff. So, so I went and I found Saba Sabers and uh, White Tiger Zord, which is on sale. The Saba Sabers, I guess it's sixty nine ninety nine, I believe, instead of ninety nine ninety nine, or it's seventy nine ninety nine instead of ninety nine ninety. I think it's seventy nine ninety nine instead of ninety nine ninety nine. Anyways, so there's that. They had Saba Saber and White Tiger Zord. I already had those. They, there's no more for. So I was like, all right, whatever. So what I did find was these movie figures. And I was like, oh, I did want them. I was looking at it. I, I saw some videos. And I'm like, you know what? They do look pretty nice. And it's either now or never. I figure it's now or never. Like, I know the prices on some of these figures is a bit much. But I figure it's now or never for, for these figures. So I got them. And the thing is, I also found Zed. And he, I found the, the, the movie figures in Zed at the first Toys R Us. And... I didn't really pay attention to the price, but I did know I did figure they're gonna be about nineteen ninety nine each, just because the videos I've been seeing. I think Zed, when Zed first came out, I believe he was like nineteen ninety nine or something around there. People were saying he's like twenty bucks and not worth it for twenty bucks. So I was like, that sucks. But then when I actually paid, I looked at my receipt, and uh, they were actually these were sixteen ninety nine the movie figures, and then Zed, I guess he's on sale now, or they just dropped the price. He's now fourteen ninety nine, or at least not just Zed, but Zed and Jason, all the first waves. They're all $14.99 now. So that's a little more swallowable. Um, because I was thinking about it and I was like, yeah, this is $19.99. It's not worth it. Probably like $13.99 at most. It probably should be $12.99, but $13.99 at most. So $14.99 is a little easier to swallow, at least for the first wave. $16.99 as well is not too, you know, horrible. But again, easier to swallow than what I originally thought was going to be about $20. Bucks. With tax, it's probably around there, but, you know, before tax. So that was nice. So, so far I found uh, at the first... First Toys R Us, I did find Zed, Movie Jason, or Movie Red, Movie Blue, Ivan Ooze, and Movie Yellow. So, that was cool. As well as I found Silver Bolt, G1, well, you can't really see it, but I've got Optimus Prime. Let me move some stuff. I found Optimus Prime, I found Silver Bolt, and I found in the back G1 Megatron, the leader class. So, 
awesome. I was really happy I got those two. I, I was I was hoping to find Optimus, but if I didn't, I would be fine. But I found them as well, so I was like, cool. But I found Silverbolt, really happy about that. So I had to actually go out and get a cart because at first I was like, I, I really never get carts when I go in shopping for toys because I, I never expect to find so much. But today I, I had to go in. I, I went back out, grabbed the cart, filled it up, got, not like filled it up, but bam, got those, really happy. So I was like, damn, I'm like, I'm so close. All I need is a Motor Master and Wave 1 is done. I, I can rest easy knowing Wave 1 is finished. So I was like... Oh, oh, and I found Bombshell. I forgot, totally forgot to mention, I found Bombshell. Because I was really worried I wasn't going to find him either. Because he was, again, one of those more older figures. Not older, but like he was... I want to say he came out like December, maybe. Maybe January, December, around there. But, yeah, and he, I just barely found him in stores now. Not even at Target, just Toys R Us. So, I think from now on, I'm mostly going to try Toys R Us. Just because that's all I can find. Like, really. And also, I, I have a rewards card, so I get points and coupons and stuff. So, might as well. But, yeah... Bombshell, I found him. So happy I found him because I've had shrapnel here for a while. So now they have Bombshell, I'm two thirds of the way there. Really, really hope they make a uh, kickback. I haven't heard anything yet. There's been nothing about a kickback, but I would love to get a pick kickback just because the at least Bombshell wise, he was pretty prominent in the beginning, early stages of the comic books. Not like the you know, but like the, I think the NTM more than the I think that I, I always mix up more than the MCI and Robots in Skies, but I think it's no, no, no. I think it's Robots in Disguise. I think it's Robots in Disguise where they're on Cybertron still. Bombshell was pretty prominent in that, so I'm glad that I got him. He did, I wish they made him look a little more comic book accurate just because of that one. A little more, you know, spiky and stuff. This one's a little more mixture of comic book and G1, I'd have to say. But still very nice. I, I like it. It's very nicely done. So like I said, if we can get a kickback, beautiful. It'd be great. But glad that I found Bombshell to go with Shrapnel. So that's cool. So... First Toys R Us, movie figures, two Voyagers, Megatron Leader Class, and Bombshell. So that was really awesome, and then there's another Toys R Us on the way home from there. So I was going to stop by there. I was like, you know what, maybe I'll find I'll find uh, Motor Master. So I go by, and I found not only Motor Master. Well, first I found the, the White uh, Ranger Legacy Morpher. I was like, I was looking around, they had the Saber, Saba Saber, and the White Tiger Zords. So I was like, all right, well... I guess there's no Morpher, and then like I just took a glance. I'm like, oh, pfft, there it is. It's right next to him. So cool. Found that. Really glad I can add it to my Morpher collection. I've now got all the current Morphers they've made. Hopefully, we'll get mm, the rest of the movie ones. I don't have. To, I don't feel the need that I have to get all the movie ones. But if we could, could get them, or not even no, forget. Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say because, because I kind of want to get. One more movie morpher like they did with the original Legacy Morpher. Get one morpher like that with all the coins, the new ninja coins. But at the same time, the movie morphers are, you know, individually colored. Like this one has the white trim. So it's kind of hard to say if I'd rather get them individually, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But still nice that we got this one. So that's cool. I can add it to my morpher collection. I've now got all the current morphers. So that's nice. I found Jason. So that was cool. Really wasn't expecting to find him. There's a million Zeds. Zed is like shelf warming like crazy. There's one Jason and like 10 Zeds, maybe more, honestly. So I'll probably, maybe, I'll, I'll check out the, there's one more Toys R Us within my general area that I'll probably check out Sunday. Um, uh, I'll check that out. If they don't have anything, I'll probably go online to get the, the first uh, wave figures because at first I was like, yeah, I really don't feel the need to have them. They're cool and all that. But again, the price point, I just couldn't justify it. But now I'm like, you know what? It's now or never, so I, I figure I might as well get them. What's interesting, though, is that... Uh, oh, and also, last but not least, I found Motor Master! Yay! So I have all Wave 1. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! But anyways, yes. So I was going to say, it's interesting that we have here... Ooh, my leg cracked. We have here the movie figure, and then we have the Wave 1 TV figure. And on the Wave 1, it's for ages 4 and over. And then on the movie one, it's ages 15 and over. And it's like, wow, that's significantly different considering they're not really different at all. Um, these are basically the same exact engineering. Not design. The design I'll give it is a little different. But engineering-wise, they're exactly the same. They function exactly the same. They're the same thing. So just different designs. So the fact that they're like, hey, this one's made for every, you know, kids and everyone. This one's like, hey, this is for, like, collectors. I, I thought that was weird. I'm like, you know, I, I get it. These are collectors. These are meant, these are aimed for collectors. Not meant for collectors. They're aimed at collectors. They know we want them. They'll know we'll for sure pick them up. 
So I get that. But, you know, it's really all for everybody. So I don't know. I thought that was interesting. But I'm glad I now have this collection going there. I'm going to try and get like a set going. Like maybe a, um, I'm trying to think of like how I can set them up with the space that I have. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm glad I got all this. It's been, a inter been a nice day that I was able to find everything. I'm caught up. It feels, you know, refreshing. I just need to find all of the Power Rangers figures now. You know, feel good with those Power Rangers. But I've got, you know, all the heavy hitters as far as legsy stuff. I've got the, the Zords. I've got all the Zords. I've got, uh, I was going to say Megatron. I've got Megazord. I've got Dragon Zord. I've got Tiger Zord. I've got... Regular Morpher, Gold Morpher, Movie Morpher, I've got Titanus. So, legacy-wise, oh, I've got the Dragon Dagger, I've got uh, Saba Saber. So, you know, legacy-wise, all the expensive stuff, I'm good for now. So that feels good because it's like, ugh, so much money. But, I've got it. Um, that feels great. Uh, I've, got, I've got started on the, now the, the first wave here, you can see. Well, maybe you, you can't really see too much, but... I've got Zed and an armored Red Ranger, so we're good there. I still need black, blue, yellow, pink, green, and white. So that's six more figures. I still need a knockoff, so hopefully I can find them at a reasonable price online or in stores. And then as for the movie figures, we've got... Well, I've got the first four here, but there's still black, pink, and white. There's another white movie figure... It, yeah, you can see it based off the picture. There is a little bit of design differences, so it could be worth getting. But yeah, so there is that. That's what I have to say. Um, another thing, this is a quick TF update, so I, I'm going to talk a little bit more on third-party stuff just because it's out there. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm having some some thoughts about some of the third-party stuff that's coming out for Combiner Wars. I'm not really sure where to go as far as as Menasaur. So we've got two third-party things coming out one of them is an add-on kit for Manasaur just to make it a little more you know g1 that vibe to it which i'm leaning towards just because a it's cheaper than the alternative and uh b it incorporates motor master in it the second one that one's by perfect effect i believe is is that that add-on add -on kit if anyone knows what i'm talking about the second one it's called lone wolf i don't remember which company's making it i feel like it's like a new company it's another one of those like companies that throws one or two figures out randomly and disappears but yeah it's called lone wolf it's it's a brand new figure it's very g1 vibed it's it's got that whole g1 feel to it it's it's it pretty much replaces this motor master all together i don't think you need this one at all for that but it looks great combined with the rest of the figures my dilemma is that it's very expensive and that the fact that it totally eradicates this motor master because uh, I really, like I said, it's very G1 looking and I love it, but at the same time, I feel like it's too G1 looking. And why, what I mean by that is, I want to have an updated Menasaur, I, but I don't want to have like a G1 Menasaur, if that makes any sense. Because like, if I wanted a G1 Menasaur, I'll go on eBay and buy one. What I want out of these figures is an updated version of that. I want it to look the same basic idea, but better, you know, scale... Better a uh, paint job, obviously, because they used stickers back then. Better uh, articulation, especially. So, like, yeah, I wanted an updated look, but I don't want that exact same look. I'm not looking for, you know, G1 Menasaur, but bigger with better paint. I'm looking for a completely updated version. So I think, just by saying this, I'm going to go with the upgrade kit for it, not the full, you know. It'll save me a ton of money, and it'll still incorporate the Hasbro one we have here, because this one looks really cool. I like this this Menasaur. I don't know about the vehicle mode. I haven't transformed it, obviously. Everything's still in box. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. But as far as this robot mode goes, I think this would be, be fine. He'll look great with the rest of the Stunticons. I think the size looks great. I think the design looks great. So there you go. So I think that's really all there to say. As far as my videos go, I'm going to start pumping out more videos today. I have like three or four backlogged. I just need to like edit them. But... Um, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm working on some older generation stuff. If you've seen, I've got Chromie and RC. I, I put up. I'm gonna film Drift. I've already got Dreadwing, like the generations Dreadwing, Huffer, the Combiner Wars Huffer, uh, filmed. I'm gonna redo the transformation for Dreadwings because it's. it's uh, you, I totally messed it up. You can't even like see half of it, so I'm gonna redo that real quick. Um, let's see. I, I still need to do generation skids. And then I'm going to do Nightbeat, Goldbug, and the Crosscut. But um, I might 
wait on those. I don't want to, but at the same time, I really want to get current stuff going because I'm really lagging it. I, I have a lot of catching up to do. So I'm going to do that probably later. I'm going to do all the Combiner War stuff now. There's a lot of third-party stuff I have still I need to do. Um, most of it's Combiner stuff, so I'm going to wait. What I like to do for my third-party Combiners is wait till I have the full set just because there's a lot going on with those usually. There's always there's extra pieces. Maybe the transformations are a little more intricate. Um, stuff like that. So I usually wait till I have the full set. Then one at a time I'll, I'll bust out a video. You know, probably within a week or two I'll do, I'll do like the full set. So right now I have the Bruticus set by Warbitron. Um, all I need is Sly Strike, which is Swindle, and um, I don't remember what the other one's called, but it's... I can't believe I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his actual name. Um, the main lead one. Wow, why am I... Why? Why, why am I forgetting? Um, I'm going to remember right now. Forget that, but yeah, those are the two. I'm just waiting for two more components, and we're good to go. I'll start, you know, as soon as I get the chance, I'll start filming on those. Um, and then I have the Terracons, also Abominus. I have the first three that are out. Um, I'm trying to remember their names. Troll, which is, I think, Blit, Blip, Blot. I think he's Blot, but he's, he's you know, he's Troll as far as the third-party world is concerned. So Troll, and then I think Fenrir was the other one. That one's supposed to be Twin Strike. And then, um, I totally don't remember the other one's name because it's a weird name. I want to say it starts with, like, an O. But um, I have him. I don't remember what his actual name is either, but he's a shark guy. He's a little sharky. I'll have all that information in the video, but he's that land shark thing. So I've got those three. The pre-orders just went up for, for um, I want to say Windraiser is the name for, for the bird one. I totally don't remember the names. I'm so bad with them right now. And then um, the leader one. Eh, I don't remember. They weren't featured that much in the G1 cartoon. Give me a break. I'm sorry. They they if they weren't featured, but they were in the Headmasters. I'm I'm fairly certain they were more prominent than the Headmasters, but I still need to watch the Headmasters. Anyways, but yeah, there's that's what's going on there. I I do have some st I have a bunch of stuff coming in stock. Um, I have the Nin Ninja stuff. Power or not Power Rangers? Power Rangers Nin Ninja Super Sentai. You know uh, what's it called? Um, I don't even remember the series. I'm just drawing blanks on so much stuff today. Um, something Sentai Nin Ninja. I'm gonna say Ninja Sentai. It's Ninja Sentai Nin Ninja, but that's probably not right. But anyways, I have like the main Megazord for that one. Um, I have now I have coming in 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 the shipment. I was waiting to pile on stuff just so I could save on shipping, but I've got Pau Maru and UFO Maru, which is an elephant and a uh, UFO spaceship Zords. It's the add-on. So. Cool, can't wait to get those in. Once I get that, those in, I'll start busting out those videos as well. Like I said, I like to do segments and stuff. I like to do, you know, well, as you can tell, combiners, I like to do them, you know, in segments, generations, segments, and then I have RID stuff in segments. I like to do everything segmented, so we're going to do it like that. Um, as well as the bison, the, the, the Six Rangers bison zord, I have that one coming in, so that'll be cool. And they've I've already got everything else pre-ordered. i got, like, that surfing one pre-ordered. I've got the... The, the dinosaur one just went on pre-order, the T-Rex one, that one went up, up, so I got that. And then the giant, you know, lion one, the, they always had that really big one throughout the series. I got that. So, there's that. Tons of stuff I need to still film. Um, as far as, as the train one, <laughs> I can't think at all right now. Um, Hyper Resha, there we go. I'm going to film him too as soon as I get the chance, but I need to do that. I'm looking at him right now, so yeah. Lots of stuff I need to do, lots of filming. Uh, hopefully I'll get the time. We'll see how things go, but Sundays are for sure. I'm going to start making Sundays my film days just because I now have Sundays off. I got a new job where they're closed on Sundays, so every Sunday I'm off. So I'm going to try to make that my film days. I'm going to try busting out you know, as many videos as I can filming-wise and then editing them throughout the week. I try to do one video a day as far as, you know, editing to, to get up because they do take a while to edit, upload. Up First of all, it takes a while to upload my computer. Then it takes a while to edit. Then it takes a, a while to, like, convert the movie. Then it takes a while to upload to YouTube. So it's just, you know, the best I can do is maybe one to two videos a day as far as actually getting to YouTube. But I'm running out of time, so... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Lots of stuff to come, as you can see. Glad I got all this going. Lots of pre-orders I have, hopefully coming on the way. Lots of third-party stuff. Lots of Power Ranger stuff. Lots of, you know, Transformer stuff. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.